Hey there, welcome to my very first Let's Code video. So we're going to start this whole thing off by building a simple chat application um, as shown here uh, around the socket.io bit of technology. They have an application. Uh, basically it's just a little tutorial that they have and we are going to take this tutorial and kind of translate it into this build system or in a format that can be used by this build system. There's also some minor tweaks and stuff. They have this is just something it's really simple because they're trying to demonstrate the ease of using socket.io without having to worry about the other moving parts and things like that. Whereas I kind of want to change it around uh, and get it to be something a little more stable. Uh, it's just good practice for me. Uh, instead of just doing one-shot code, I try to write my code to where it could be reusable, even if it is just for a simple tutorial like this. And that's the other thing, is I like taking these tutorials and just implementing their core concepts, but not doing all the copy and paste stuff that they pretty much ask you to do. I kind of want to make sure I understand the context of it. So for this part, we're going to be getting the build system ready and getting just the basic HTML in there and let's get started. Okay, let's get this party started. First thing we need to do is copy out this URL. Um, this is how we're going to clone in the build system. Uh, so we'll do a git clone, paste that in, and we'll throw it into a folder called evil chat. All right, that has been installed. So let's go ahead and jump into that folder. get this sized properly and uh, we should be good to go with all of the goodies this provides so we'll go ahead and npm install that while we are installing that let's go ahead and do a little bit of cleanup work on the package.json here all right so we want this to actually be called evil chat as the app um, you call it whatever you want. That's just what I'm calling it for this. Uh, with evil chat, uh, we'll give a description of simple socket.io. Actually, let's make that a capital S. Simple socket.io chat application. There we go, that looks pretty darn good. And we will get rid of this repository, don't really need it. These scripts are used for the build system and we are installing all of these dependencies right now. Uh, these dev dependencies are basically for the build system. I do bring in Lodash because it's one of my favorite Swiss Army knives, um, especially for doing modular packaging. So it looks like we have all of that installed. Let's go ahead and do a npm start on this. So we'll check to make sure everything builds just fine. And we'll head over to the link. So it looks like hello simply evil uh, showed up. Uh, we'll check it, make sure there's no errors. Nope, no errors there. Um, so we are good. We do want to get rid of that though, of course, because um, that is for the build system just to let you know it's working. So to do that, uh, I mean, we don't want that div in there. So to, or that h1, to do that, we will go ahead and delete those bits. Uh, all that was doing was creating an h1 and whatever message we passed in, it was being added as the content for that h1. We no longer need to default the message because we're not doing that message bit. Uh, anything with messages here? Nope. Uh, so the one place that we do pass this in is on the page here. So we will go ahead and not pass that in as an option. And hopefully nothing breaks. Let's give this a save. That's going to force a build there. And it looks like we have no errors. We're not passing in that message. And in our body, we only have the browser sync scripts and our bootstrapping script that brings this up. So one of the things you'll also notice is that we have evil app here. 
we don't want that. We actually want this to be called evil chat. So we are going to give that a save. Now this should result in an error because we are not exporting our our JavaScript bundle. We're not exporting that as evil chat. We're doing evil app. So what we need to do is jump into here for our webpack config and we will change this to be evil chat. So simple. We'll give that a save. This is going to require a restart um, because uh, this is the configuration for the bundler. Um, it should bundle with that. Uh, our browser sync connection has been terminated. So when we do a refresh, we should not have the error and everything should actually point to something called evil chat. Okay, now let's get started on the HTML. We'll go ahead and get this started uh, with a little npm start. Uh, while that's building, let's look at what we're supposed to be making. So we'll do our own styling, so we're going to kind of not pay attention. Well, we're not going to pay attention to any of this, I should say. We are going to implement this structure, though. Uh, so it looks like we have a UL uh, unsorted list that's keeping track of the messages, um, like in a chat app. And then we have an entry form that has an input and a button. This is where you put your text, and this is how you send that text. We'll open up the Jade file, and we'll go ahead and throw in this UL. Uh, we'll give this a class of log. Uh, then we need a form. The form has a class of entry, is what we're going to give it, and we will give it a blank action. Then down here, uh, we need an input to put all of our neat messages we're going to send. So we'll give that a class of entry input, and this needs to have autocomplete turned off. So now with that done, we'll head into button. And button just needs to say send, but we also want it to uh, have a class of entry send. And now with that, I believe the HTML should be good to go. We'll give that a save and verify here. Okay, so it looks like down here we have our UL has a class of log. We have a class of entry on this form, and then inside of that form, we have an input with the class of entry input. There's entry send, autocomplete is off, and we have a blank action there. So I think this was successful. So next thing we need to do is get this feller uh, uh, saved up, um, or committed, I should say. One thing to keep in mind is the git that this is pointing to is the actual build system git. So we're going to have to go ahead and remove with recursive force the guilt or the guilt folder, <laughs> the git folder, um, and that will remove the repository that we have now. Notice it doesn't say master anymore, so we'll do a git in it, and now we have our own repository. So. Uh, right now, everything should be dirty. Yep, nothing's been added, anything like that. Let's go ahead and add everything. And we'll give it another status. It looks like everything that we want is added. So we will do a git commit all and end this off with a commit of initial commit. Okay. So you'll notice we no longer have that dirty tick on our cursor, or on our shell, so we are good to go. Well, that's going to do it for this very first episode of Let's Code. Thanks for joining me. Be sure to join me next time where we'll be slapping some styles on this bad boy in an effort to pretty it on up. If you want to like or comment on this video or any other videos in the meantime, feel free to do so. The feedback is greatly appreciated. And uh, also be sure to subscribe if uh, you want to stay up to date with all the latest releases and whatnot. And always keep in mind, if you find yourself bored in life, chances are you may not be doing it right.